Hey guys, it's Nick with Technic, and today we get to check out this RGB gaming keyboard from GameStop. Let's go. So this is an RGB uh, gaming keyboard. This is tactile, so it's not full mechanical, but it's going to have some, it's not going to be a nice smooth sound. This is going to be a little clicky clacky. Now, first, why are we looking at this? Well, this thing runs about $50 on, through GameStop, and this is obviously branded um, GameStop. See, they're like, this is one of their, they thought this was good enough, they put their name on it. But at 50 bucks, I mean... I've had better. Well, we saw that this dropped to $30 on GameStop recently. It was actually just a hair better than that. Let's just mention a couple of the features right out of the gate for this, okay? So, on top of being a gaming keyboard, being rugged and being able to survive massive amounts of keystrokes, it is customizable for the RGB lighting sequence. And you see that lighting all through this. 7200 DPI for the optical sensor. These keys are backlit, and it's a full wire, a full membrane wired keyboard. I enjoy the silent keyboard for what it is, but I've gotten to a place where I really enjoy hearing that tactile, I get that sensory that I'm getting as I'm playing the game. Now, it can be loud, and we might have a little teaser that that is one of the complaints with this keyboard as we go. Let's open it up. Okay, and tape here. We should do a MacGyver thing where you start, you have to open it, because you've opened it with the Aeromax. You give me like, uh, you, you give to, me random yeah. things and I have to open. Yeah, you know. I kind of like that. Um, a little game within a game. Yeah. Now, you remember in episode 75 when he used a potato chip clip and Unboxed the Samsung 49 inch Odyssey. Uh, okay, anyway. So let's get in here and see what it looks like. Whoa, excuse me. Hopefully the packaging is rugged. I will tell you if you don't like paper cuts or thick thick cuts from cardboard, be careful. Because I think I just sliced myself open. As we open this up, there's not going to be a lot to show here. We're still gonna do it. Alright, from the top camera. Now, one thing I want to say here as we look at this, the cable on our mouse is just right at five foot long. So that's that's plenty, uh, unless you're trying to play from across the room or something, which I don't recommend doing. Now, it says on here that the color coding for the DPI, it, it'll show you, it'll give you a color flash to show, show you what DPI setting you're on. So if you do adjust that, you go to 1200 DPI, you're gonna be blue flashing light, 2400 would be pink, 4800 is red, and 7200 would be purple. Is there anything here? This product is not a toy. The legality involved here to say that we have a keyboard and a mouse and you have to keep it away from a small child. I just, I'm about fed up with this being on no, product. No, think about that. This is a, P, a gaming PC. Yeah, I mean, mouse. I don't see grandmas getting a whole lot of gaming keyboards and Mouses. Um, it does just warn that if you're when you're cleaning this, use a dry cloth or compressed air. Don't use a water or alcohol. Um, and it says if you're going to leave this unused for an extended period of time, to actually unplug the USB cable from the device um, so that they don't sit there with power to them. Um, that's probably not something that a lot of people do, and I don't expect you to do it. Um, but it is an interesting thought, right? Like you have this thing here, sitting here burning, churning all night while you're upstairs sleeping, right? And down in, down in your gaming space, this thing's just glowing, ra soft radiation seeping up into your, into your dreams. So, first thing is the look. And it's not, I mean, it's white and purple, and I kind of like the color setting. But if I look at this, it's not super visually appealing Ugh, it's hideous it's not i mean it's fine okay but this is not beautiful like some of the other uh peripherals we've looked at before i mean sometimes the peripherals are so beautiful i'm just kind of in awe i mean right off the bat uh the black widow elite keyboard um the halo series the halo infinite series keyboard i mean these are things that evoked like a feeling so you're not getting that from this it's just kind of like a basic white and purple now, one of the things I will say that I like about this keyboard and mouse it are these uh, cables. 
They're rugged, but they're not so thick that you can't move them. And this is actually rugged. It's right on the edge of being thick enough and rugged and durable enough, but it's still very pliable. And I like that. And the finish around it is not metallic. It's rope, um, which I'm sure is less... Uh, is, is not as high of a quality as some of those steel cable feel, the metallic cables. But you know what? It was kind of a nice little difference. And the, the mouse kind of matches that in the same fashion. Now, it's a little bit thinner, obviously, than the keyboard. But um, the, I, I did like the cabling. Now, obviously, we've got all the little uh, flip-outs here so that I can, I can get an angle on my keyboard. It's all pretty standard. Well, before I, I do this, let's go over to the mouse. For me... This mouse feels just a bit thin. And I don't mean in the width, I mean in, in the height of the way that my hand sits on it. I don't feel like my hand's resting on this mouse. I feel like I'm kind of almost clawing into this, this mouse here. Track wheel action is kind of on the light side. It's not anything bad. It is responsive. It works. It doesn't feel, it, it, feels, it feels light. Uh, I've had no issue with the other function, uh, again, of this mouse. Other than some of the extra buttons, not 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 here, but these extra buttons do have a very um, soft feeling to them. It almost feels like if I was going to get an error, like it didn't read a button click, it would happen on those. I don't know how else to explain that. It's very soft. When I push it, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like a lag. Like it almost takes a second for that click to happen. It's very 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 soft. But the rest of the use of this mouse is very good. Now, number one complaint after using this thing for like 10 or 15 hours is not the sound, even though that was my daughter's complaint using this. She thought it was way, way loud. This is much quieter than a mechanical keyboard, and we'll listen to that here for just a second. You know what, I have one here. Let's just do the comparison just to show you. Here we are with an iBuy Power mechanical keyboard. So let's give it, um, I'm gonna type the same thing on the GameStop one, and then this mechanical keyboard from iBuyPower, okay? Uh, I'm gonna review the tape. And then here we go. Wow. So, oh, wow. all right. <clears throat> John, you wanna take a guess what I typed? Uh, John, you're the best brother I could have ever hoped for. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for, no, 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 I know what you typed. John, thank you for the countless hours of video editing you've done for my channel. I couldn't do this without you. That was it, man. Thanks. Thanks. That means so much coming from me and you. Uh, I mean, gosh, I'm so amazed that you were able to just pin that one right down. Anyway, actually, I put on there, John, go to the grocery store because I need some milk in the mouth. Uh, so <laughs> That's not what you said. I, I did. <coughs> Ow, I, I lie. I was being nice. I put, let's go to the grocery store. <laughs> let's go You're to the idiot. grocery store. So again, just quickly, let's do that one more time. So is this keyboard as loud as it, some of its mechanical siblings that are out there in the world? No. This is more like Herbie the Love Bug, and that's more like Optimus Prime. We got some different things going on here. But interestingly enough, my daughter, who is very much a gamer, plays a lot of different games. Roblox, uh, Fortnite, Minecraft. She plays a lot of games. And surprisingly to me, her complaint was that this keyboard is very loud. She has used high-end keyboards before, but her exact wording to me was, Dad, the keyboard's not as creamy as I'd like it. Now, I immediately went to Google and searched what the hell my child had just said to me. Turns out, She may have a point, but I will say it's definitely creamier than the mechanical keyboard. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that John's probably going to edit everything. Oh, yeah. Every bit of that last <coughs> statement out. So let's do our normal thing here. We're going to go aesthetics. We're going to go for use and how it works. And then we're going to go three for longevity. And that one might be a shot in the dark. way it looks, yeah, I'm going to go, yeah, like that's the best I can give you. I can't say wow, and I can't say uh. I'm in like I'm in that spot. That's where I'm at. That's, uh, I'll give you. A, I'll give it a one out of two. I'll give it a, like a something. <laughs> like it's not a it's not a nothing, and it's not a everything, but it's like a it's like a something. Um, how it performs? Zero complaints there. If I was going to be pressured in to complaining, 
It would be on the light feel of some of these secondary buttons on, on the mouse. Not that they don't work, not that they're not responsive. They just feel very light. I'm not saying poorly made, just very, very fragile, you know? Okay, um, now, durability. How long is this thing gonna go? All right, now, that's a bit of a shot in the dark. My advice to you on this thing here would be, if you're buying this at 50 bucks or under, I think with normal use, you're probably not even going to consider replacing this for a year, maybe two. No, does that mean you'll need to? No, I've got keyboards in the back back there somewhere that I've probably had since Hewlett Packard was making the best computer that was out. It's been a hot minute. 30 bucks currently on GameStop. Is it worth grabbing and using for a year or two or splashing up a little bit of color? Or what I like to do with devices like this is buy and have a secondary peripherals for people when they're over gaming. We do a lot of PC gaming and I actually have extra PCs for people when they come here because they don't have their own or they just don't want to lug them over here or they're not playing on a laptop. And so when I find a deal like that, this is where I feel comfortable. It's not $300 and it's not 10 bucks. At 50 bucks or if I'm getting it on sale, I think it's a good usable product. Guys, if you're using this and you enjoy it, you can drop a comment in the comment section below and let us know if you bought it, if you didn't, if you got it, if you don't like it, whatever it is, whatever's going on, you're not going to hurt our feelings. Let us know what you think about this one on this RGB gaming keyboard from GameStop. I'm Nick with Technic. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.